If you're wondering what to do when you see stamping conflict in S-Connect or soft check database results, this video might help. Soft check output is uh, produced with the help of LVS soft check statements in the rule file used for connectivity extraction. We can click on this soft check database icon within RVE. In this case, we have results for soft check PWELL and soft check PWELL upper. Highlighting the result for PWELL shows us the uh, problematic PWELL, the one that was involved in the uh, conflicting connections. Highlighting soft check PWELL upper shows us the metal that would have connected to the uh, PWELL if it weren't for this uh, conflicting connection situation. So this is the metal that was rejected, so to speak. It's not actually connected to the PWELL. I'll use the finder capability in RVE to learn more about this piece of metal. I'm familiar with the design. I know that this P-Wall should be connecting to ground. So I'm going to use the uh, location uh, capability to uh, pinpoint that piece of metal and see what it's connected to, if not ground. Three nets have been returned for this location. Ground, out, and X11 slash 13. Of these three, only one doesn't have a name. That's the likely candidate for our a rejected piece of metal. Ground is the net I expected this P-Well to be connected to. I'm going to look at metal one on the ground net. The net layers capability within RVE makes this easy. I'm just going to click on the uh, icon next to metal one. This shows me where Caliber believes ground metal one is. I can highlight the P-Well on ground just to see the relationship between the well and the metal one. My next step is to highlight net 13 and maybe zoom in on it, maybe change the uh, color so that it stands out a little better. When I'm looking at it in this way, I can see that uh, this metal one for net 13 is basically just broken, accidentally separated from the rest of the ground. And uh, based on this, I can tell that uh, the problem should be solved by me just joining uh, these two metals back together. Some key points for debugging soft check results. Uh, LVS soft check statements will be needed in the rule file. Uh, soft check results will be found in RVE. We can use the finder capability in RVE to examine the related nets. We'll want to examine the net that was supposed to connect to the well or substrate, and we can examine the net that was rejected and not actually connected to the well or substrate. This is Chris Falcom with global support and services at Mentor Graphics. I hope you found this video worthwhile.